everybody, it's Adam. Wonder who he'll interview. He'll get the dirt and the scoop and the story, for he happens to be in the know. Just ask anybody who's Adam, Adam, lives for the business of show. Call me Adam.com. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live at Shadowboxers in New York City with Stephen Land, who is the creator and founder of the new calendar, Real Men Wear Pink, which is a calendar that Stephen created in response to his mom's diagnosis of stage four breast cancer. So Stephen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Your mom was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer in 2013. Do you remember the, where you were when you found out she was diagnosed? Um, I was actually at work on my way to lunch, and I got a call from my dad. Um, and I, like, couldn't eat <laughs> my lunch. Um, he, all my family was in Arizona, and I'm in New York, mm -hmm. so, like, it's hard to do it any other way than over the phone, mm -hmm. um, which isn't fun at all. No, no, it's not. Yeah. Did you then go home to Arizona, or did you have commitments that forced you to stay here and you couldn't get home right away? Um, well, she was diagnosed in October of last year, mm -hmm. um, and I was scheduled to go home for Thanksgiving, so I already had that scheduled to go, so I wasn't able to actually get away very quickly, mm -hmm. so I had to wait till Thanksgiving to actually see her and hear everything in person. So I had a whole month of thinking about what's happening and what's going on before I actually got all the details. And what was it like during that month when you really didn't know everything and you just had all the thoughts running through your head? And then what was it like when you got home? Was it what you were thinking about or was it different than what was going through your head? Well, the whole month was kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, I had a bunch of friends here who I was able to talk to. Um, I have a friend who is actually the host of the release party, Paige Turner, mm -hmm. whose mother uh, pa passed away from breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And so she had to go through the whole process. And so she really helped me with kind of dealing with everything within that month before I even went home. Mm -hmm. um, but going home, everything seemed normal. It's like nothing ever happened. Uh, I was able to go with my mom to a couple of her doctor's appointments and like be there and be a support. Mm -hmm. um, so I was glad that I was able to actually be involved in that process with her. That's great that you were able to be there for her. I know when my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, sh it was on my grandmother's birthday actually, and we were all going that night to to the nursing home to celebrate my grandmother's birthday. So I don't know how my mom got through it. You know, that day she found out she was diagnosed with breast cancer and then we still went that night but I guess that's what moms do she did it and um, you know she, luckily she's a survivor so and we do the breast cancer walk every year but this is great that you did this calendar um, so what what was the moment when you were like I want to make a calendar of hot guys wearing pink underwear in, su <laughs> in support of breast cancer um, well I was actually working with the photographer who did the calendar. Um, I was working with him on a project and I told him like, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and I really want to do something different. I've done the walks, I've done the runs. My, my grandma was diagnosed as well. Mm -hmm. And when she went through chemo, I shaved my head. Like I've done everything that I could think of. Mm -hmm. um, and around that time, the New York City firefighter calendar was kind of getting publicized on the news and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and they were going, starting their photo shoots, and I was like, what if we did a calendar? Wow. And within three months of photo shoots, editing, um, getting graphic desi designers involved with creating the logo, we came up with a calendar. So it only was three months wow. ago when we came up with the idea. Now, how's, how's your mom doing? Is she still going through treatment? She's currently on a clinical trial. Uh -huh. um, the clinical trial has been doing really well for her. Mm -hmm. um, she, when she was first diagnosed, she had cancer almost completely through her whole entire body. Wow. So it spread very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but they can't find it anywhere at all below her pelvis anymore. Uh -huh. um, so it's slowly going away. Uh -huh. 
Um, but she's kind of at a plateau right now where they're kind of debating on if chemo is a way to go or not. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been over a year and chemo hasn't been an option yet, mm -hmm. so we're grateful for that. And how did she decide to do a clinical study? Well, she, she was saying anything but chemo because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. my grandmother went through chemo and she had to see what my grandma went through. Mm -hmm. um, and she didn't want, she doesn't want to have to go through that. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's kind of saving it as a last resort. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping that the, the clinical trials work. Well, I'm glad so far that it's working. In addition to the calendar, you're also in the New York City nightlife. You're an entertainer, you're a promoter, you're a dancer. How did, it, after, after you found out that your mom had breast cancer, how did it affect your work or has it changed the way you, you do things in the New York City nightlife arena? Well, for me, the calendar kind of shines light on all of that because everyone in the calendar except for one person is involved in New York City nightlife. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it actually motivated me to bring everyone in the nightlife scene together from the circuit boys to the local go-go dancers to the models to porn stars to um, the promoters and bring them all together into one community for a common cause. On October 22nd, you are having the release party for the Real Men Wear Pink Calendar here at Shadow Boxers in New York City. Yes. In addition to the male breast cancer survivors that are going to be your VIP guests, what else can you tell us is going to happen at the release party and how can people come to it? Um, well, it's definitely open. There's no cover charge. Um, there's going to be performances by Paige Turner, mm -hmm. um, by Dimitri Minucci. Dimitri awesome. is a professional singer and it is. Um, and he's going to be performing as well. Uh, we also have performances by Chelsea Pierce and Sir Honey Davenport, which were also, um, both of them won their season of So You Think You Can Drag, which is oh. a, a local drag mm -hmm. competition in New York. Um, so we'll have them as well. And then all of the boys will be doing a runway um, show and some nice pink undies. Oh, nice. Oh, then it'll definitely be quite an evening. Yeah. But it's definitely, f it's free to get in. We're going to have raffles and a uh, silent auction to help raise even more money uh, for the cause. That's great. That's great. Well, everybody watching is definitely going to get their calendar, realmenwearpinkcalendar.com. You can pick up your calendar, and all the proceeds go to the fund. Um, and... You'll get to see Steven right here, who's clothed. You'll get to see him very nicely unclothed as Mr. April, uh, along with all the other models. And come to the release party on October 22nd at, right here at Shadow Boxers in New York City. I'll have all the information on my site on Call Me Adam. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.